Hi everybody, Mr. Morgan Lewis here at the school. Um, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about shadow boxing and the benefits of it, and also to make sure you're doing it right as well. Um, shadow boxing or uh, or shadow sparring, as it's sometimes known as, is quite important to add to your regime. Um, we we do we sometimes do it in lessons as well, and uh, it's it's quite important when you're working on a heavy bag or one of the, one of the wave masters as well. But uh, why it's so important and how to do it right? Well. The reason shadow boxing is a good idea is because it's a really good stamina exercise. Uh, it's a really good uh, warm up for your session that you're going to do. So if you're going to do some your, of your own training, um, whether it's martial arts related or not, it's a really good way of getting your muscles fired up, your joints moving. It's a really good way of getting you getting you going. Now, um, but other than that, it's really good for you to use it in this way. We have your guard up and you're going to practice your shadow boxing. Generally when I do it, it's usually uh, three, maybe four one minute rounds um, with a, a small rest in between just to get going. Um, the reason it's important to practice is so that your techniques stay accurate, okay? So that you're actually in front of a mirror, for instance, is a good way to practice it, okay? Or just in a general space, but it's making sure that when you're you're practicing your techniques, okay, that they are accurate, they're actually going to a place. Um, also, you're not just throwing the techniques out there for the sake of it, okay, you're sparring an imaginary opponent, okay. So, from here, if you're going to do um, shadow boxing or shadow sparring, what you need to do is make sure you're facing a direction first of all, you're working towards it, and then you rotate and face another direction. What you need to do in your mind is visualize a, a target moving around you, doing the same thing to you. Okay, if you just stand on the spot and just face the same way for the whole time, it's not realistic, okay? You need to be visualizing a silhouette of a, a, a target moving around with you. So when you practice your punches and your kicks, okay, and your ducks and your movements, you're making it more realistic for yourself. Also, when you're uh, doing shadow boxing, never neglect your defenses, okay? So whilst you're working, you should be practicing your covers, okay? your shin blocks, your, your ducks, your slides back and forth, you should be adding all of that in there so that you're not thinking attack, 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 because that's not the correct way to think. You should be thinking, okay, they're doing this to me, they're doing that to me, and you need to apply all of it. So what it should be is you're moving around, your guards are, you're throwing punches, you're throwing, you're throwing uh, kicks, okay, but you're also working those covers, oh, they've thrown a shot back to you, so now you counter, and so on and so forth, okay? Now, to turn it into a bit more of an intense, a more intense fitness exercise, what you can do is you can hold light weights whilst doing this. Now these are only two kilos. Um, that's the maximum really. You shouldn't hold anything heavier than that. Um, the reason you do this, and it's not to necessarily make your punches stronger. It's more about building up endurance in your shoulders so you're able to punch longer or for longer periods of time. So you have your guard up and then you practice putting the hands out there. But what's really important is that you don't try to concentrate on too much power and throwing it as hard as you can and doing damage to your elbow or your shoulder, okay? You're doing it just to give your shoulders a nice burn, okay, to, to get the core working, especially if you start implementing twists and that, okay? With the legs, don't, I wouldn't recommend doing any ankle weights with the with the kicking because that can that can be a, a problem for your knees and your ankles. I would recommend you just avoid that. Just leave your legs as they are. But if you're working your hands mainly, okay, then it's a good idea to hold these to give your shoulders an extra an extra workout. Okay, a bit, a bit of endurance burn. Now, um, if you wanted to work your legs a bit more with the uh, shadow boxing, then of course what you can do is do your shadow boxing round for say 45 seconds, and then do 30 seconds of squats afterwards and then go back into your second round and then do squat thrusts and so on and so forth. So you, you, know, you can turn it into a big workout by itself, but it's, a, it's a, aside from it just being a good warm up. Okay, but just make sure, to summarize, when you're practicing shadow boxing, to make sure number one, you're actually visualizing a target. Number two, you're being offensive and defensive, so you're not just concentrating on throwing as many punches and kicks as you can. You're trying to work your defenses, all right? Um, number three, it's a good idea to face a mirror if you've got space provided to do so, all right? Uh, or if you can't do that, but you've got a training partner, you can face each other and do it to each other without getting too close that you clutch knuckles or feet or anything like that. So you've actually got something to work against, it's a good idea, all right? 
Uh, and number four, make sure it's intense. Make sure you're working fast, okay? You're moving plenty, all right? You're, you're using as many different uh, techniques as possible that you know. If you're very limited on how many techniques you know at the moment, that's okay. Depends on you know how experienced you are. Then just work with what you know, but you still need to work covers, parries, shin blocks, ducks, okay? Sliding out the way, things like that, okay? And of course, as I said, you can add a small amount of resistance to it to make it a bit more of a uh, intense workout for you, but don't go too mad on that, okay? So, hopefully that's given you an idea of what uh, shadow boxing is about, and uh, you should practice it. If you're gonna, you know, you know, if you're in a regular workout regime, outside of your training, then you know, you should practice it quite a bit. It helps to keep you um, keep your muscles um, um, elasticated, I guess. Stops you from shortening your punches. Okay. Um, if any of you uh, uh, lift weights as res uh, further resistance training, shadow boxing is good to practice before and after those workouts because it stops you from shrinking your amount of movement you make. Okay. It, it encourages you to get your arms and legs moving again. So it's quite good for that as well, all right? But uh, if you uh, do it, put that into any of your regimes, then uh, hopefully this uh, will give you a few ideas you, in which you can use it, all right? But in any case, as always, enjoy your training, look after yourself and uh, keep those achievements and, and that progress going, all right? Take care.